Hi and welcome to Exotic Zoo TV. Today we're going to be finding out about one of my favourite animals of all time and also one of the most unusual mammals for sure. These animals can only be found in the Americas and they're the only mammal that have a bony shell on their back. Can you tell what it is? We'll find out today on our first creature feature episode here on Exotic Zoo TV. Did you guess right? It's armadillos! So today I'm here with the six-banded armadillo. These guys come from the rainforests in South America. And actually, compared to all of the other armadillos in the world that are nocturnal, these are the only species that are diurnal, which means they wake up in the daytime. But you can get armadillos in loads of different sizes, from teeny tiny to gigantic. The smallest being the pink fairy armadillo, which is only about six inches long. And then they can go all the way up to a meter and a half long for the giant armadillo. That's massive. Armadillos are omnivores, which means they eat meat and plant matter, but their favourite food by far is definitely insects. And just like their cousin, the anteater, they've got a long sticky tongue. So let's see if we can see him using his long sticky tongue now. And he'll use that to slurp up all of the bugs that he digs up out of the ground. Isn't that amazing? Armadillos are probably most famous for the armour plating that covers their body. In fact, they're the only mammal in the world that has this. Now, the word armadillo actually means little armoured one in Spanish. Now, contrary to popular belief, not all armadillos can curl up in a ball to protect themselves with their armour. In fact, there's only one type of armadillo that can actually do that, and it happens to be the three-banded armadillo, just like the one I'm hanging out with today. So, if we have a close look, when she needs to protect herself, she can curl up in a perfect ball. Her head and her tail lock in just like a jigsaw puzzle to turn her into a complete ball of armour, which means that predators find it really difficult to be able to get to this animal. I think that's a pretty amazing way of protecting yourself. So let's go and have a closer look at an armadillo skeleton and their armour. Here at Exotic Zoo we really love our natural history and we've got a natural history collection meaning we're a little bit like a museum as well and I've got with me right now a six banded and a three banded armadillo skeleton and shell and as you can see their shell is actually made out of rock hard white bone just like the bones inside our body but you can see on the six banded armadillo shell it's a slightly different colour and that's because the top layer of the shell is actually made out of keratin just like our fingernails. So, a thick layer of keratin like our fingernails, a thick layer of bone like the bone inside our bodies. I think that that is an awesome way of protecting yourself from predators. Armadillos can swim, but they've got quite a heavy shell, so they have to take loads of breaths of air so that they can float. But actually what they can also do is they can just go underwater and walk across the riverbeds because armadillos can hold their breath for an amazing six minutes. Six minutes, somebody start the timer, I wanna go. And did you know that armadillos sleep for about 16 hours a day? I kind of wish I was an armadillo. Now, they usually wake up at dusk and dawn to find their food, so I'm going back to sleep. Armadillos are related to sloths and anteaters, and just like an anteater, they have a big long snout and an awesome sense of smell. Because they've got teeny tiny eyes, they see really badly, so they really rely on that sense of smell to help them to find their way around, and most importantly, to help them to find their food. So I want to leave you with one last armadillo fact before I go. In the Pleistocene epic a million years ago, animals used to come in much bigger packages than they do nowadays. And as well as the three ton giant sloth Megatherum. South America was also roamed by the likes of the Glyptodon, which was a 10 foot long, one ton giant armadillo. It not only used to eat plants instead of bugs, but it's believed that early human settlers to South America used to hunt these not just for their meat, but also to use their giant shells for protection from the elements themselves. Now that is a cool fact.
So I hope you all enjoyed our first ever Creature Feature episode here on Exotic Zoo TV and I hope you agree with me that armadillos are absolutely amazing. Now we know you might all be at home at the moment on lockdown because of the pandemic and doing some homeschooling maybe so we wanted to be as interactive as possible so we're going to launch our first Exotic Zoo TV competition to win of course a VIP family experience to come and meet and learn all about our armadillos here at Exotic Zoo when we reopen. So what you've got to do to enter is, just like armadillos are totally unique and an unusual animal, we want you to draw a picture of your own unusual, unique animal that doesn't really exist, but you think would be an amazing animal. Send it to this email address or post it on our Facebook and we're going to choose a winner and we're going to send you out one of these in the post. So good luck and see you later everybody.